Thanksgiving, but we brought him back in this week. Imagination Station with us, and Dan Clements joins us this morning. You have one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, today we brought in a really cool science experiment. We have this cool substance called oobleck. I like how it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, oobleck. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's really easy to make at home, so we're just going to go ahead and start making it. Okay. Okay. So all you need is two ingredients. You need cornstarch, which I have here, and water. Okay. All right. Two to one ratio, so two parts cornstarch, one part water. Okay. So I've already got two cups of cornstarch in here. We measure me out two cups of water, please, Chris, and I'll get the other two cups of cornstarch here. One cup of water? Two cups, please. Two cups. Yeah, it's like cooking with the sides. Okay. Very good. You can add that in there. Okay. And we can go ahead and start mixing it up. And oobleck is a very cool substance. Um, it is a non-Newtonian fluid or liquid. Okay. Really? Yes. So okay. If you want to go ahead and start mixing it up sure. there, we're going to get a little messy here. That's um, okay. That basically means, okay, that it doesn't act like a normal liquid might. I'm starting to figure that out. Okay. So when you apply pressure to it, all right, it actually acts like a solid. Okay. It's pretty interesting. It actually thickens when you apply pressure. And we've got some pretty, ooh, that feels pretty good if we keep mixing it up there. I'm actually going to add a little bit more okay. cornstarch. And you got to play with it kind of when you do it at home to make this really kind of cool oh, non-Newtonian substance. I think this is perfect. So, right. Chris, why don't you take like a handful and try and like squeeze it in your hand okay. like that. Try and make it into a ball. Okay. When I apply pressure, those tiny little particles of cornstarch are kind of like jagged and they right. stick together. Okay. But since we added that water, all right, when we release that pressure, that ball melts Goes down, to nothing, turns then. back into a liquid. It's pretty amazing so stuff. So you, you squeeze it in your hand, it's basically a solid object, and yep. then you let go. Let it go, release that pressure. Yeah. The water allows the tiny cornstarch particles to slide past each other and okay. turn into a liquid. And I can actually take this, and I could pour it like a liquid, like so, to make a pretty cool liquid right there. Okay. Now, if I were to, if I had water in this tray, all right, and I slapped it, the tray of water, what do you and think would happen? We'd all get wet. We'd all get wet, we'd right? Get but since this is a non-Newtonian substance, why don't you try and slap the uh, oobleck, see what happens. Sure about this. Okay. All right, maybe. Okay. Did that act like our water did? You hit it pretty hard. Yeah. All right. It didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere, but if I were to just let my hands sink in, kind of, it's like quicksand almost. Sure. And I can pull it in. Now, what's really cool, but I thought we could do something a little special today is I brought this big, huge speaker right here. Okay. And we're going to apply some pressure with the speaker for our oobleck. So can you give me a big handful and put it in our speaker, okay. Chris? How's this? Perfect. That's perfect. So go ahead and load it on there. And I'm going to turn our speaker on. And when it vibrates, or you can actually see it kind of coming alive. All right, and I can move it around a bit. Now what I thought would be cool is that if we took that oobleck and we made it into like a kind of abstract snowman. So I brought some snowman parts here. All right. And we're going to see if we can make a really cool. So, so you can go ahead and grab some snowman parts. And you just add them on there. Well, we got some, some arms. We got a googly eye. I even have a, uh... there it is. I have a carrot for his nose, even. <laughs> and we can make What'd you do to my snowman, Dan? Oobleck snowman. It's like if Picasso were to make a snowman. I, I suppose. Like, so the vibration, the sound waves, the vibration is keeping this semi-solid at this point. Exactly. So that vibration is putting pressure on the oobleck, which sticks it together, makes it act like a solid. And now we have a melted snowman. Frosty. Frosty. We brought him to life and now he melts back down again. I just watched that movie this week and <laughs> I shed a tear every time he goes into the greenhouse and melts away. So you've done it again, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on with you guys at the Imagination Station? You're always having fun. You're playing with Oobleck now, but what's so, coming? This month we're doing Frostology. Okay. It's the science of the season. We're going to be making oobleck snowmen and talking okay. about Insta Snow and the science of winter and the holidays and all kinds of really fun stuff until January 3rd. Very cool. So we can catch that all the way through the holiday season. Appreciate that, Dan. Stay with us. We have more Your Day coming up right after this.